was not his main originally. I knew, I've known Wolfie for a bit. They started as like a Z ZSS player. And I can see that. I, I can see that a little bit. <laughs> so they eventually transitioned to Sonic, and they have been on an absolute bull run since they've started playing Sonic, and they're doing amazing with Sonic. But now, Sky J on a bit of a tear, taking Wolfie to the top <laughs> to the top for a second there. But you have to find some way to get in, and Sky J is just again playing just around this effective range for Wolfie. But. We've seen this before where these top level players are essentially forcing a one-on-one. -on -one. And now, if they get that opportunity where they can just pin someone down, they are looking to do anything they can to poke away at Greece. And one of the questions you ask is, how do they deal with Sky Jason Center War? Um, I know Wolfie just lost the stock for it, but doing a great job feigning in and out of those pressure zones where the burst opportunities are, baiting Sky J to throw in side B so Sonic, a character that can get back in Incineroar's face and punish him, that's going to be one way they're going to play around it. But we're seeing a great lockdown play from MK Lay on Sky J right now. And Grease Almighty looking a little worse for wear, but taking Sky J stock at 100 with up tilt. Sky J lost the, so the stock, but. More importantly, he parried C4. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But he had a hundred. Like by the time he was he was done getting hit. No, Wolfie already losing another stock, but MK Leo still holding on to these high Okay. Yeah, I gotta stop mentioning this. I really gotta stop talking about these types <laughs> I'm, of I'm telling you, these players love to prove us wrong, but I'm here for it. What what good would we be if we could be dynamic on commentary? <laughs> I, oh, oh my, my god! We got the blue, the blue pseudo kill screen. We and got the kill screen. Wolfie, Wolfie taking the stock immediately, and getting spiked by Leo. This is turning into a wicked game for Leo and Sky Jay. Some serious adjustments need to be made on the side of Wolfie and Greece. And the one good thing Wolfie has going for it is. As long as he can get out of the corner, he can focus on doing what Sonic does best. And that's not the worst thing in the world in this position because as long as he can stay away from Sky J, he doesn't have to interact. Yeah, he doesn't even have to interact, but can just decide to wait until Wolfie eventually does decide to commit. And ooh, good idea from Leo. Just a little bit too high on the side of Sky J. I love the way, and I, I pointed this out last time, and I'm seeing it again. Sky J standing behind MK Leo. So when Wolfie used the charge spin dash to go through MK Leo's shield, Sky J was just there to revenge it, pop him up, and then MK Leo could hit him for it. Ooh. It almost felt like, and I'm not knocking Wolfie at all. I don't, I don't want to, I want to be projective when I do commentary. Felt like this little deer in the headlights a couple times there at the ledge. And I get against a 2v1 after that, but I saw it a little bit during the game when they were both still alive. A lot of, not reacting to options, kind of taking their time, maybe a little too much. Um, Sonic needs space, Sonic needs to run, but also gotta be ready to get out of the way at least. Well, it, there's one game, it's time for them. They have the right, ability right. to just keep learning. I think this is all part of the plan for Wolfie and CIJ, so Nat, or not, excuse me, Wolfie and Grease. It's just a learning game, right? The way Wolfie described it to me was he's basically playing a lineman while Greece is quarterbacking for the team. Right. So maybe Wolfie needs to dial back the aggression a little bit. And I love that analogy, though. Yeah. Uh, so smart to like to put it in like simpler terms like that to just be like, he's gonna take point. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna base my plays off what he does. But gotta be able to make make your own calls sometimes. You're not always gonna be able to lean on your teammate. And we're seeing a little bit more, a better play from Wolfie, except get caught by that side beat. But a 41% matching Sky J's energy right now. And Sky J getting a pretty early kill onto Grease right there. I think it was only at like 110 before that down smash hit, but close enough to the blast zone where it will close out. I think Wolf is having some trouble trying to at least jailbreak in some situations. They're doing a good job of picking up straight hits, but right now they're just not getting the conversion they need until that F smash connects. A charged and one. Rips. Up angle. Yeah. A little punch to the gut. Good job ripping that stock away from Sky J. I'm kind of surprised that Sinor's abs didn't just tank the hit, but it is what it is, right? Oh, holy man. Wolfie just saying I don't want to die yet. Look, doing a great Also, 
one of the, the two between Leo and Wolfie. Now, Wolfie, the only person with three stocks now, still doing a great job just dancing around the effective range of Sky J. I was about to say, Sky J's looking a little worse for wear in that position. <laughs> I forgot Grease was still alive. He was up there for so long. <laughs> yeah. Master of Disguise, you just cannot keep a hold of him at that point. Still not dead. Snake's so heavy. 160. Tons of rage for well, there was tons of rage for Greaves, but one thing that I'm seeing Wolfie do that I'm a really big fan of is kind of casually throwing jab out a little bit. And that it's gotta be because if Sky J you know, like goes for revenge, it's just not gonna do that much, right? You're not gonna suffer a ton for getting a quick jab in, but you get conversions once you go for the first jab. Yeah, there are tons of ways for this team to work. Dash attack. Die barrier. There's tons of ways for the team to die barrier. Yeah, and Sky J is at 132. You know, a little bit of rage has does not hurt Sky J at all. Ooh, Wolfie, love that back here. Wolfie's doing a good job of trying to set up some of these conversions. I like the idea of going for the focus. Looks like F-Smash, right? Yeah, it was an F-Smash out of that throw, but just not enough at the moment. Ooh. Trying to get down to save Wolfie from the Alolan whip. Not quite getting there in time, and he's kind of suffering for it. What a bad spot to be in. Now it's all up to Wolfie. We've seen this movie before. It, oh, man, that back that back air is something That down brutal. throw. That down throw writes his taxes for him. In Cinderella, specifically. Because at low percents, you can down throw into, into neutral B. You can down throw into fair. You can down throw into up air. At high percent, you can do all that again, except for neutral, neutral lead. Uh, you know, I think we might have been messing up Grease's tag. I think their tag is actually Apple. Apple? Apple. Uh, but. They're probably going off what it says on the start, GG. Yeah, probably. Go but I, regardless, this is a winnable situation for Wolfie and Apple. I, Absolutely. What they need to do is dial back, or really is just wait for Sky J either to take one of those swings where they're going close to the ground like you have seen and capitalize on something like that. But more importantly, do not let the one-on-one -on -one happen. And we're, that, again, took the words right out of my mouth because they've got them, look at them. They're, they're both doing exactly what the other one is doing, locking down their, their chosen opponent in the corner, juggling them, keeping them up. And it's not looking great for Wolfie and Apple right now because look how low their percents are. They got nothing but time. Oh, and that grenade. Either, it looked like Sky J either didn't get it in time or the grenade saved Ooh. them either way. Sky J losing the early stock, but immediately cleaning up Wolfie and Apple. They said they didn't need it. He didn't need that stock. Sky J just having such good shield discipline over the course of this. Well, both players actually, Leo and Sky J, having great shield discipline when Wolfie is trying to oppress them. But and Sky J's mix has the luxury of such good mix up with revenge, going for combo breakers with it, not doing anything fast, quick air like the quick aerial speed and the fast buttons. It's Sky J's losing another stock. Ah, that be it. I mean, three stocks still for Leo, but Sky J on his last stock. It's, Maybe we'll see the can make it to something great this game. There could be some this could be the start of the momentum that I'm a believer. Yeah, this is the momentum that Apple and Wolfie could need, but not if you're losing the stocks to MK Leo. It feels like at this point they need to take Sky J just out of the equation. Force MK Leo to have to give a stock up and then take MK Leo's stock when they're low and then force a defensive like stalemate. Because at that point, they'll, they'll be able to lock down. Ooh, love that. But it ultimately cost Apple his life. After that F smash, it was easy for MKLeo to react and that. seal the stock. And like you Immediately said. Immediately after. So unfortunate. Man, it, they had such a great idea, but unfortunately didn't convert the exact way they want to. Sky J sitting at 136. A ton of rage. And especially as you get start getting pushed closer and closer to the edge. It's a scary place to be. We saw the damage that that's, that the Incineroar back air can do, let alone fair from both of these characters. And Apple getting in a situation where they finally got ground and immediately didn't have time to commit to another option because the other one was just waiting right there in the wings to end it. But that will seal up the game. Wolfie and Apple 
going down to the loser's bracket after MKLeo and SkyJ clean it up three to nothing. And I think, was that, was that winners? That was, that was winners finals. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see Wolfie and Mudes back up. 